First up, let's talk about the incredible strength that comes from writing down your goals and tasks. You might think it's a small thing, but trust me, it can make a big difference in your life. When you take a moment to jot down what you want to achieve and the things you need to do each day, something magical happens. Your goals and tasks become more real, like stepping stones that guide you forward. It's like giving yourself a roadmap to success. Imagine this, you wake up in the morning and you have a clear list of what you want to accomplish for the day. As you check things off one by one, it feels amazing. That sense of accomplishment not only motivates you to keep going, but also makes sure you're accountable to yourself. When you write things down, they're not just ideas floating around in your head. They're concrete plans that you can see and act on. Writing down your goals and tasks is like planting the seeds of success. It helps you focus, stay organized, and make progress step by step. So, grab a pen and paper or use your phone or computer and start jotting down your goals and daily tasks. You'll be amazed at how this simple practice can transform the way you approach your day and your life. Next, let's delve into the magic of a morning routine. Starting your day with a plan can make a big difference. Imagine waking up and taking a moment to stretch your body gently, like a cat waking up from a nap. After that, try making your bed. It might sound small, but it helps you start the day feeling accomplished and organized. As you get ready in the morning, think about the things that make you feel good. Maybe it's listening to your favorite music while you brush your teeth or taking a few moments to do some simple breathing exercises. These little actions can set a positive tone for your day. Remember, your morning routine is like the opening scene of a movie. When it's calm and enjoyable, the rest of the day is more likely to follow in a positive way. So, consider adding a touch of magic to your mornings with a routine that makes you feel good and ready to take on the day ahead. A clean environment might just be the secret to a clutter-free mind. Imagine walking into your room and finding everything in its place, no scattered papers, no clothes on the floor. Doesn't that feel calming? Keeping your space tidy is like giving your mind a break from chaos. When your surroundings are messy, your mind can feel overwhelmed too. But when you take the time to put things away and keep your space clean, you create a sense of order. It's not about being a perfectionist or spending hours cleaning. Even small things like making your bed every morning, clearing your desk, or doing the dishes before they pile up can make a big difference. Think about it, when you have a clean and organized space, you can focus better. You know where things are, and you don't have to search for them. Plus, you won't be distracted by the mess around you. So, if you want to feel more relaxed and clear-headed, start by tidying up your space. It's a simple way to take care of your mind and create a peaceful atmosphere for yourself. Now let's talk about prioritization. This is like deciding what to do first and what can wait a bit. Imagine you have a bunch of things to do, like homework, cleaning your room, and helping your mom. It's important to figure out which one needs your attention right away. Think about when you get your school assignments. If you do them right away, you won't have to worry about them later. It's kind of like that with bills and important tasks too. If you take care of them as soon as they come in, you won't have to keep thinking about them. If you leave bills and tasks for later, they can pile up and make you feel stressed. But if you handle them quickly, you'll feel more organized and less worried. So when you have something that needs to be done, Try to do it sooner rather than later. It will make your life easier and help you feel more in control. It's vital to infuse your day with moments of joy. These are like little sparks of happiness that you can add to your day to make it better. Let me give you some examples of how you can do this. Imagine you're starting your day with a cup of your favorite coffee or tea. Taking that first sip and enjoying the taste can bring a smile to your face. Or maybe during your drive to work or school, you can listen to a funny or interesting podcast that makes you laugh or teaches you something new. These small things might seem simple, but they can really lift your mood and make your day better. Another way to add joy to your day is through music. Have you ever noticed how a favorite song can instantly make you feel happier? You can create a playlist of songs that you love and play it when you're getting ready in the morning, exercising, or even doing chores. Music has a magical way of brightening your spirit. And don't forget about spending time with people who make you feel good. It could be a friend who always brings a smile to your face or a family member who understands you. Making time to connect with these people, even if it's just a quick chat or a text, can fill your day with warmth and joy. So, remember, adding these small moments of joy to your day doesn't take a lot of time or effort, but the impact they have on your mood and overall happiness is big. Look for those little things that make you smile and make it a habit to include them in your daily routine. You deserve to have joy in your life every single day. 
Congratulations, awesome viewers, you've made it halfway through the video. The next half is packed with even more useful and exciting content that you won't want to miss. So let's dive into the rest of the video together, and please hit the like button if you found the video helpful. Let's dive into the power of your internal dialogue. This means the thoughts you have in your own mind. Did you know that the way you think can affect how you feel and what you do? It's like having a little voice inside your head that talks to you all the time. Sometimes, this voice can be really nice and tell you good things, like, you're doing great. But other times, it might say mean things, like, you're not good enough. Imagine if a friend talked to you the way your inner voice does. If they said mean things, you might not want to be around them, right? So, it's important to listen to how you talk to yourself. If you catch your inner voice being mean, try to change it. Instead of saying, I can't do this, tell yourself, I can give it a try. When you use kind words, you'll start to feel better about yourself and what you can do. Remember, you're in charge of this inner voice. You can choose to make it a positive and encouraging voice that helps you feel happy and confident. So, the next time you hear that little voice inside your head, make sure it's saying things that lift you up and make you feel strong. Now let's talk about something really important. Cutting down on how much time you spend on social media. This can make a big difference in your life. Social media is when you use apps like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to connect with others and see what they're doing. It's easy to spend a lot of time on social media, scrolling through posts and pictures. But sometimes, this can make you feel less than great. You might see people doing exciting things or looking perfect, and it can make you feel like your own life isn't as good. This is because people often show only the best parts of their lives on social media, and it's easy to forget that real life has ups and downs. So, here's the game changer. Try to limit how much time you spend on social media. It doesn't mean you have to stop using it completely. But it's important to be mindful of how it makes you feel. If you notice that you start feeling bad about yourself or your life after using social media, it might be a good idea to take a break. Instead, focus on spending time with real friends, doing things you enjoy, and being present in the moment. This can help you feel happier and more connected to your own life without comparing it to what you see online. Time management is like solving a puzzle to reach your goals. Imagine your day as a puzzle board, and each task is a puzzle piece that needs to fit. To get everything done and still have time for yourself, you need to manage your time wisely. Start by writing down what you need to do each day. This could be tasks for work, school, or chores at home. Seeing everything written down helps you remember and plan. Now, think about when you work best. Some people are more focused in the morning, while others do better later in the day. Use your best time for important tasks. It's important to tackle tasks when they're due. Don't wait until the last minute, as it can create stress. Break your day into chunks of time and assign tasks to each chunk. This way, you won't feel overwhelmed. Also, remember that breaks are essential. They help your brain recharge, so you can work better. Be flexible, too. Sometimes things don't go as planned, and that's okay. Adjust your schedule if needed. And when you finish a task, celebrate. Check it off your list and feel proud. Good time management means you have more control over your day and can make time for the things you enjoy. Let's talk about taking care of your body and feeling good. This is all about fitness and taking care of yourself. It might sound like something only athletes do, but it's important for everyone, including you. Imagine doing activities like going to the gym, joining a yoga class, or just taking a nice walk outside. When you move your body like this, it does something cool. It releases chemicals called endorphins in your brain. Endorphins are like natural happiness boosters. They make you feel better and give you more energy. Think of your body like a car. When you put good fuel in it and take it for a spin, it runs better. Fitness is like giving your body good fuel and taking it for a spin. It's not just about looking a certain way. It's about feeling strong, happy, and healthy. So, here's the deal, make time for activities that get your body moving. It doesn't have to be intense or hard. It could be dancing to your favorite songs, playing a sport you enjoy, or even taking the stairs instead of the elevator. By doing these things, you're telling your body, hey, I care about you. And when you feel good, everything else in life gets a little easier. Lastly, nurturing relationships is key to a fulfilling life. But there's another important relationship you shouldn't forget about, the one with yourself and your body. Taking care of your health through regular physical activity can make a huge difference in how you feel and how much you can accomplish in your life. Imagine your body as a car. Just like a car needs fuel and maintenance to run smoothly, your body needs exercise to function at its best. 
Prioritizing fitness doesn't mean you have to become a professional athlete or spend hours at the gym every day. It's about finding activities that you enjoy and that make you move. It could be dancing, walking, cycling, yoga, or even playing a sport you like. When you exercise, your body releases chemicals called endorphins. These are like natural mood boosters that can help reduce stress, anxiety, and even feelings of sadness. They make you feel happier and more energetic. Regular exercise can also improve your sleep, boost your self-confidence, and make you feel more capable of handling challenges. So there you have it, 10 life-changing habits, mindset shifts, and self-care practices that can truly revolutionize your life. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you and creating a lifestyle that brings you joy, peace, and fulfillment. I hope this video has inspired you to take charge of your life and make positive changes. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more transformative insights, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.